These are magnetic Minecraft blocks. You can use them to build hills, houses, caves, trees, whatever the hell this is. You can literally use them to build whatever you want. These blocks cost 50p each, and the only place you can buy them from is China. You see, I made a promise to buy one block for every 100 new followers, and I ended up getting over 200,000 new followers. But the problem is, I'm officially broke. So I did the obvious thing and tried to make the blocks out of paper. I designed the layout, printed it onto cards, cut it out, stuck it together. And finally, after two hours of work, I had one block. I don't think this is gonna work. So next up, I made some quick cash and spent over $10,000 on Minecraft blocks. And after a couple of weeks of waiting, they finally arrived. I decided to build this kingdom and it has two houses, a lake, it has some trees and bees, but honestly, it sucks. This isn't what I had in mind, and I want this project to be a hundred times better. I decided that I want a new base for my kingdom, so I took a trip to my local range and had a look at some potential tables and shelves, but honestly, they were trash. So next up, I took a trip to Ikea, where I found the perfect Minecraft base, but you're not allowed to see it until later. I loaded it up onto my truck, returned back to my house, tidied my office, and then assembled my new Minecraft HQ. It's amazing. Literally, this base is everything I wanted. We have the these four shelves that we can build whatever we want inside and then we also have all of this table space and now is the moment you've all been waiting for let's build minecraft kingdom number two i wanted this kingdom to have loads of caves cliffs and houses so i loaded up minecraft for some inspiration after about four hours i realized that i was just wasting time so then I began building. I want this bottom left shelf to be a massive cave so that we can put different ore and mobs inside. I also 3D printed these giant blocks that are the equivalent to 27 small magnetic blocks. I know it's cheating, but to be honest, I really don't care. I used the 3D printed blocks as a support for the cave. It just made the whole process a hundred times easier. And once that was done, I started adding in loads of stone. I really tried to be ambitious with this cave because I wanted it to be as realistic as possible. It took me a really long time because I had to search through all of the blocks and find the stone. But also building this cave was really difficult. Unfortunately, these magnetic blocks aren't the ones that are in Minecraft. They can literally fall. They are only held up by really tiny magnets and too much weight would force the cave to collapse. But I also encountered two problems while building. First of all, there is a metal bracket on the table that I have to build over. And secondly, there's this tiny space at the edge of the shelf where the block doesn't fit. I built over the bracket and tried to ignore the space for now. And after an hour of building, this is what I had. Doesn't it look amazing? I decided that I need a drink. So I went and grabbed one from the fridge. Oh! No! Next up, I had some of my favorite drink, and no, this video isn't sponsored, and got back to work. This is genuinely so stressful. You would have thought like this would be easy, but it's not. It's like, oh my God, there is so much to do. I added in loads of different ores. I also created this really cool lava waterfall. And finally, I structured the top of the cave. Building this cave honestly really stressed me out. So if you haven't liked the video yet, then do it right now. I also forgot to mention that any money I make from this video will be spent on Minecraft blocks. So make sure you watch this video until the end so that I can make loads of money. Anyway, the cave was now complete. And now I wanted to move on to the section above the cave. I decided to spend some time sorting out the Minecraft blocks so that it would make building a little easier. After an hour of sorting, I started terraforming our new section. I added a really nice grassy hill with a small pond. Then I added in some trees, but then I had a crazy idea. I wanted to add a waterfall to connect the two sections. So I made this giant waterfall that flows from the top to the bottom. And next up, I started working on terraforming the bottom. Now, we can't have a Minecraft kingdom without Minecraft houses. So I built this lovely little cottage and a small villager house. The final thing that's missing from my kingdom is mobs and animals. Luckily, over the past few days, I've been 3D printing spiders, chickens, and frogs. So I added them into my kingdom, and honestly, they made it look so awesome. If you have any suggestions on what I should 3D print next, then let me know in the comments. But anyway, it was getting late, so I decided to go to bed. And the next morning when I woke up, I didn't really like the look of the cottage at the bottom of the kingdom. So I decided to move it to my next location, and the kingdom was finally complete. This is what our Minecraft kingdom is looking like right now, and honestly, 
it is so awesome. To begin with, I thought that you guys would be upset that I destroyed the kingdom, but honestly, this is so much better than our old Minecraft kingdom. We have already added over 3,000 blocks to this brand new Minecraft kingdom. However, we're not done yet. We still need to build the nether. And I've decided that I'm going to build the nether in these two compartments here. Now, I originally said that I wanted the nether to be under the table. However, I think that would be better for the end. Anyway, I used some 3D printed blocks as some support, and then I began building the nether. I wanted there to be a giant lava pit in the middle, and then I also want a nether fortress to go over the top. So I built all of the terrain, added in the lava, and then it was time to add the nether fortress. As I put the nether fortress into the nether, it kind of collapsed. So I had to remove everything and then rethink my strategy. I reinforced the nether and then put in the nether fortress. It was looking absolutely awesome. But my favorite part about the nether is the glowstone. So I took some glowstone and stuck it to the top of the shelves. Now, obviously you can't go to the nether without the nether portal. And this is what our Minecraft kingdom was looking like now. We have our Minecraft village, our Minecraft cave, our Minecraft cottage, and also the nether. Next up, I decided to add in some finishing touches like this crop patch, some more trees, some more mobs, and finally the house that we all started with. Now, there are 3,752 bricks in my Minecraft kingdom, and eventually I wanted to cover the whole table. Like I said at the beginning of this video, for every 100 followers that I get, I'm going to add one block to my kingdom. But also, for every 100 likes that I get on this video, I'm going to add another block. So like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see my kingdom grow. And finally, in the next video, we will be building the end. Ah, okay. Right, right, right. Everything that you see in my kingdom cost me $2,000. In total, I have spent $10,000 on Minecraft blocks. $10,000! A lot of people do not believe me. So here's proof. I have literally had thousands of messages asking, where did you get the blocks from? Well, let me tell you. These blocks are really hard to get. Like I said at the start of the video, they cost 50p each. And I got all of my blocks from Alibaba. Now, I would say to you, go to Alibaba and buy some Minecraft blocks. However, you have to buy in giant bulk. So if you did buy from Alibaba, it would be kind of expensive. But I have a genius plan. Well, it's not really a plan. Basically, within the next month, I'm gonna create a website and I'm gonna start selling these blocks to you guys. I can spend loads and loads of money on these blocks, get loads of them shipped to my house, and then I can sell them to you for a cheaper price. Great idea, Jake! Good idea, good idea, good idea. Also, I wanted to let you know that there are no boundaries for the limit of this project. If this video goes really viral, I will buy more blocks. If I get loads of subscribers, I will buy more blocks. If I make loads of money, I will buy more blocks. But anyway, guys, if you made it this far into the video, then comment down below, Jake is an NPC. I will be liking every single comment that says Jake is an NPC. Also, let me know if you want to see part two of this video where we make the end. And with all that being said, what was I going to say? I will see you next time. Goodbye!